Welcome to the last episode of this five-part video documentary about butterflies. In this series I talk about different butterfly related topics and if you want to learn about butterflies, I suggest you watch all episodes. In this fifth and last episode, I will talk about declining numbers, in art and literature, in mythology and folklore, collecting, recording and rearing, the last topic is, in technology. Let's start with talking about declining numbers. Declining butterfly populations have been noticed in many areas of the world, and this phenomenon is consistent with the rapidly decreasing insect populations around the world. At least in the western United States, this collapse in the number of most species of butterflies has been determined to be driven by global climate change, specifically, by warmer autumns. In art and literature, Butterflies have appeared in art from 3,500 years ago in ancient Egypt. In the ancient Mesoamerican city of Teotihuacan, the brilliantly colored image of the butterfly was carved into many temples, buildings, jewelry, and emblazoned on incense burners. The butterfly was sometimes depicted with the maw of a jaguar, and some species were considered to be the reincarnations of the souls of dead warriors. The close association of butterflies with fire and warfare persisted into the Aztec civilization. Evidence of similar jaguar butterfly images has been found among the Zapotec and Maya civilizations. Butterflies are widely used in objects of art and jewelry, mounted in frames, embedded in resin, displayed in bottles, laminated in paper, and used in some mixed media artworks and furnishings. The Norwegian naturalist Kjell Sandved compiled a photographic butterfly alphabet containing all 26 letters and the numerals 0 to 9 from the wings of butterflies. Sir John Tenniel drew a famous illustration of Alice meeting a caterpillar for Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, circa 1865. The caterpillar is seated on a toadstool and is smoking a hooker. The image can be read as showing either the four legs of the larva, or as suggesting a face with protruding nose and chin. Eric Carle's children's book The Very Hungry Caterpillar portrays the larva as an extraordinarily hungry animal, while also teaching children how to count, to five, and the days of the week. A butterfly appeared in one of Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories, The Butterfly That Stamped. One of the most popular, and most often recorded, songs by Sweden's 18th century bard, Carl Michael Bellman, is Fjär Elving Odsson's Poor Hager, the butterfly winged is seen in Hager, one of his Fredman's songs. Madame Butterfly is a 1904 opera by Giacomo Puccini about a romantic young Japanese bride who is deserted by her American officer husband soon after they are married. It was based on John Luther Long's short story written in 1898. In mythology and folklore, according to Lafcadio Hearn, a butterfly was seen in Japan as the personification of a person's soul, whether they be living, dying, or already dead. One Japanese superstition says that if a butterfly enters your guest room and perches behind the bamboo screen, the person whom you most love is coming to see you. Large numbers of butterflies are viewed as bad omens. When Tyrano Masakado was secretly preparing for his famous revolt, there appeared in Kyoto so vast a swarm of butterflies that the people were frightened, thinking the apparition to be a portent of coming evil. Diderot's and Cyclopédie cites butterflies as a symbol for the soul. A Roman sculpture depicts a butterfly exiting the mouth of a dead man, representing the Roman belief that the soul leaves through the mouth. In line with this, the ancient Greek word for butterfly is Psyupsilon Chi, Psyche, which primarily means soul or mind. According to Mercia Eliad, some of the Nagas of Manipur claim ancestry from a butterfly. In some cultures, butterflies symbolize rebirth. The butterfly is a symbol of being transgender, because of the transformation from caterpillar to winged adult. In the English county of Devon, People once hurried to kill the first butterfly of the year, to avoid a year of bad luck. In the Philippines, a lingering black or dark butterfly or moth in the house is taken to mean an impending or recent death in the family. Several American states have chosen an official state butterfly. Collecting, recording and rearing. Collecting means preserving dead specimens, not keeping butterflies as pets. 
Collecting butterflies was once a popular hobby, it has now largely been replaced by photography, recording, and rearing butterflies for release into the wild. The zoological illustrator Frederick William Frohawk succeeded in rearing all the butterfly species found in Britain, at a rate of four per year, to enable him to draw every stage of each species. He published the results in the folio-sized handbook The Natural History of British Butterflies in 1924. Butterflies and moths can be reared for recreation or for release. It is important to understand the importance of collecting butterflies for research purposes, as it is crucial for gaining knowledge. Photographing butterflies can never replace collecting 100%, as one cannot study the butterfly to look for specific details, especially important where species are very similar, one cannot take DNA samples etc., However photographing butterflies can be of great help when it comes to distribution, when we are talking about species that are easily distinguishable from each other, either by looking at the upper side or underside of the butterfly. In Technology Study of the structural coloration of the wing scales of swallowtail butterflies has led to the development of more efficient light emitting diodes, and is inspiring nanotechnology research to produce paints that do not use toxic pigments and the development of new display technologies. This fifth and last video in this five part video documentary is coming to an end and I would like to thank you all for watching this five part video documentary about butterflies. I hope you have enjoyed this series and that you have found it interesting, and that you might have learned something new about butterflies.